Dear Friends in Need Food Shelf, I wanted to write to thank you right away before I could forget or put it off until tomorrow. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the help that you gave me and all of the food. I can't tell you how much I appreciate how wonderful you all have been when I needed you. Thank you. I'm standing in front of our donor tree, which has the leaves of people who during the year of 2020 gave us $100 or more. And this year just blew everything out of the water. We have been so amazed with the generosity of this community. As everyone knows, COVID hit and we immediately had to change how we were serving our clients. We wanted to make sure that our elderly volunteers, which is the majority of them, and the clients could all stay as safe as possible. So we immediately switched to a curbside pickup and the clients call in and make their appointments just like they always have, but then they pull up to the curb and we have their orders pre-packed inside the door and at the last minute we put in all the refrigerated and frozen items and then we wheel it right out and put it in their trunk. So there is a no contact way for us to give huge amounts of wonderful food to our clients without endangering either the clients or the volunteers. One of the great things about the COVID year is that there was CARES money available to food shelves. We used that money to help us purchase personal protective equipment that we needed. All types of hand sanitizer and masks and gloves. And because now we're pre-bagging, we had to purchase thousands of dollars of bags to put the various types of food in. So that's what we used our CARES money for. We also got a grant for a refrigerator and a grant for a freezer. So those things have helped us in storing the food and preparing it. The best way to help the food shelf has always been money. We're able to leverage that money and make it stretch 10 times more because we purchase most of our food from Second Harvest, which is a food bank. So that's always our number one priority. The second one, if you want to bring in physical items, would be toiletries. And with that, we ask for toilet paper, paper towels, bar soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, personal hygiene, diapers, especially in the larger sizes. So those are the things that we ask for if there's a physical need. We kind of discourage food drives, especially right now. The clients are not coming into the building and shopping for themselves. So we're giving everyone the same types of food. We're just giving big families more of it. If anyone wants help from the Friends in Eat Food Shelf, you can call on Mondays between 12 and 3, and Tuesdays you can call anytime after 7.30 in the morning until we close at 4. And then we give people one last chance on Wednesdays to call, and that's between 5 and 5.30, just to get an appointment for that Wednesday night. I really want to thank this community. We are so grateful to be in this building that we've been in now for five years with the help of St. Paul Park Refinery and our generous community because we would not be able to do what we do without your help. So thank you very much. God bless you all. I did not expect I would have to have help, but it kind of sneaks up on us once in a while. I seem to be getting older and more useless. Thank you for your help in the groceries. I love it all and want to show my appreciation. I'm going to be 85 in June and I'm having a hard time believing how the years have passed. Thank you again. The variety is marvelous. I love it all and love you all.